Welcome back to the 5 p.m. edition of the Pre-PR. We are going to be taking you around the county as we bring you the very best in San Diego high school football. And, man, our next guest made it by the hair of his chinny-chin-chin. Coach Troy, sorry, you were almost called into action as Coach Thad McNeil from Carlsbad has just arrived. Take it away. Let me ask this question. Tell us quickly about this year's team. Are you, are you as good as you think you are? Uh, we, we think we're pretty talented. You know, we return a lot of guys on O. We're kind of young on D, but uh, I feel like we have a, a good squad. Coach, what are the keys to the success for tonight's game? You know, against the Saints, you got to limit their big plays, and uh, you can't turn the football over. They're just too talented. They're too explosive. Coach, you've seen some great football players. Who's the greatest high school football player you've ever seen? Great question. Uh, you know, I coach at Los Alamitos, and we coached Orlando Skandrick, and he's a nine-year vet with the Cowboys. Pretty good resume. <laughs> Pretty good football. All right, Coach, uh, good luck tonight against the Saints. That is the Picks Report game of the week. But as mentioned, we're going to take you around the county. Rick Willis, when he started out tonight, the thermometer was around 106 degrees in Poway. Rick, stay hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Paul, the good news is out here at Poway is it's dropped from 107 to 99 degrees for our North County Game of the Week as <laughs> Lincoln takes on uh, Poway in our Tri-City Medical North County Game of the Week. This one should be a good one. A, a lot of talent on both sides. Garen Van Nostrand on Poway's side, Asante Hartzog on Lincoln's side, plus Kenyon Sims, plus guess what? Everybody's been using the Domino Snapchat filter, and I urge you to go to our Snapchat and do it because, you know what? There's something free in it for you. You'll have to go there to uh, find out. Until then, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send it out east to probably where it's just as hot in the West Hills. That'll be Matt Gilson. Thank you very much, Rick. We're out here, and the JV game is just finishing up a barnstormer behind us. This one was 0-0 until the last 30 seconds. Some great defensive work, and Santana pulling it out with a touchdown right there. West Hills trying to answer, but doesn't look like they're probably going to get that done. Tough one for me being a, a, a Wolfpack member myself. Now, when the varsity suits up, this right here, the Jack Dale Cup, more uh, traditionally known as the Mayor's Cup, is going to be on the line between these two teams. I proudly say West Hills has won it five years in a row, but they had a tough week one Jordan Young stepping into the role as a junior quarterback this year he's going up against Santana's senior Santana's senior signal caller Josh Odewalt he's got Ian Litton stepping into the backfield for uh, Bobby Wallace right there they uh, rolled to a week one win so we'll see what happens out here Ali I'm still uh, feeling the effect of some of those donuts this morning uh, how are you doing up in Ramona <laughs> Oh boy, well let me tell you, it is warm up here, Matt Gilson. In fact, the game has been moved to 7.30, and I have Ramona's head coach, Damon Baldwin, is here with me. How's the weather? You guys moved the game. It's 100 degrees right now, but we're getting a little bit of cloud cover. Yeah, you know, we're getting cloud cover, so it's not too bad, a little breeze. We had to practice at night all week, and, and it, the kids did great. It wasn't that bad once it cooled down around 5.30, 6.30. Now, you can't, coming off a win, what can we expect from you guys tonight? I'm hearing a lot of running the ball. Well, we're just trying to be, we're trying to be balanced, but it sort of goes how the game's going. Point Loma's got a great defense and a great offense, and this has sort of been a little rivalry that not many people know about. We've been playing each other every year, and the margin of victory is just a couple points, so it's a great game to sort of get ready for league and everything. All right, going up against Point Loma, trying to get no, win number two on the year. We'll have highlights from that at 10.30 tonight. For now, I'm going to send it down to the Heat. John Soderman in the South Bay. Thank you, Alan. Look what we found here in the South Bay. This is Brady. His uh, dad is a coach with Mountain Empire, and this is Corey. His dad's the head coach. But look what Brady's mom did. Corey, turn around. Look what it says. Soder, bro. Hashtag KUSI PPR. Brady, turn around, bro. Papa Pig. Hashtag KUSI PPR. Corey, who did this? Um, Brady's mom, Tessa Deercop. Why'd your mom do this, Brady? Because she wanted us to be on PPR. We say thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Maddie Sinclair, take it away. What are you, what are you looking at? All right. As mentioned, the Honor Bowl is underway. And I am now joined with Mix Mark Soto, the man responsible for making the Honor Bowl what it is today, which is a big deal. Thank you. Now, Mark, how did you come so far so fast? You know what? I think the fans get it. You know, America wants patriotism right now. And it's about an education for the students. And, and, the, and the coaches love it. The fans love it. Um, there's no wonder why it's growing. And it's going to keep growing because um, we're honoring America. Now, the honorable festivities didn't start just now. No. Uh, they started earlier this morning. Some of the participating teams went out to Camp Pendleton for a visit. Let's take a listen. Yes, 
sir or no sir when asked a question? Do you understand? Let's go, let's go, press, press, press. Move faster! Move faster! Faster than that, faster than that, let's go. Let's go, move faster! So how did the players react to the drill sergeant? Oh my God, when those when those drill instructors jumped on that bus and made them form up outside the bus, it was just it was so fun. Most of them were smiling and really enjoying it. They knew that it was just a, a short taste of what real Marines have to go through when they first you know, come to MCRD. And it was a great to see them have fun with that. Now Mark, are tickets still available? If so, how can folks get them? Absolutely, thehonorgroup.org. Go to thehonorgroup.org. There's plenty of tickets available. We have fantastic football here. The best and the best of the nation. So come out and enjoy it. And every ticket that's bought is donated back to military veterans. Awesome. Thank you, Mark. Well, we'll have more on the Honorable a little bit later and highlights of the small school game of the week tonight on the Prep Pigskin Report. Paul, I'll send it back to you. Maddie, excellent job. And let's continue on. It takes an army to put on a show like the Prep pigskin report a big army a red jacket army all our producers are going out to all their games tonight and it's their job to find a special sidebar story so besides getting the highlights you get cool stories cool stories like this one check out thomas andrews from a week ago tonight they're doing something very special prior to the game we're doing a moment of silence for a fallen teacher bruce tillman that's right oh, I, I got to know him for many years of my life i was his student my first day of carlsbad high school as a student here in ninth grade is there any trace that you picked up from him that you now contribute to life and he, your life here at Carlsbad? I hope so. I, I, he was a jokester. Uh, he always had a smile on his face. He always took a moment out to be kind and ask how you were and take care of people. And I hope I have picked up some of that. I sure try. Well, I tell him we love him and we, we miss him. But I thank him for the many acts of kindness he showed us, me and, and the Lancer family, all those years. All right, in other sporty news, Rocky Long taking a break from the sweltering practice field to check out a sweltering parking lot at what we're calling now Prep Pigskin Report Stadium, formerly known as Qualcomm. Yeah, ride the trolley to Aztec football games. You're taking a peek at the One City, One Teams logo being a bubble wrapped around a trolley. The Aztecs have their very own trolley. I'll tell you what, that slogan works a little bit better than Fight for L.A., but that's just me. We digress. Let's hear from Rocky. Well, well, hopefully people can see it. I, I think it's kind of special. I, I think it's uh, for the guys on that car. I'd be really excited. I'm a little jealous. They look so good up there, but obviously it's to add some excitement to our team. I think our team will like the look and hopefully we get a lot of students and fans riding that back and forth and come to watch us play. We go to the Billie Jean Tennis Center in the Big Apple. You're looking at Venus Williams, age 37, making it into the round of 16 after defeating Maria Sakari in straight sets, three and four. Actually, Pam, I'm most happy about winning the match. <laughs> Uh, the last time we played, we had such a battle. It was so intense. And to be able to win straight sets today, it's, you know, showing that I'm playing some good tennis. And we'll finish up with the FedEx playoffs in Boston. The top 100 in the world trying to survive the cut down to the top 70. That's what you need to do to get to the next round. Dustin Johnson's your first round leader at minus five. But there's a reason to smile around these parts. Phil Mickelson, who's more interested in getting an invite to the President's Cup than he is in that $10 million FedEx bonus, playing some pretty good golf. Lefty only three swings off the first round pace. There's a lot of stuff going on this week. Unfortunately, it's a, at a golf course I've loved and, and have had some success in the past, and so that uh, helps alleviate some of the pressure. But uh, I, had, I had a fun time out there. It was a fun, challenging day with the swirling winds, and you don't try to focus on that stuff. You just try to hit good shots. And, and fortunately, uh, this was the my, my focus and my energy level has been uh, uh, much better uh, this week. Mickelson, downhill birdie putt here at the seventh. Chance to get. All right, uh, Coach, uh, the, my favorite video of the night so far is the video of the drill sergeants uh, getting the kids coming off the bus. If we could roll that again. They weren't handing out medals. They were just yelling at the kids. Yeah, there were no participation <laughs> trophies there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's eye-opening, is it not? It sure is. It's great for them. All right, so that, that's a quick look at the 5 p.m. edition. We'll be right back with more pre-PR coming up after we go back to the news side of things.